As a professor, I always reserve the right to give a pop quiz at any time, so here is a short quiz to start this video. Name three things all these TV shows have in common. I'll give you a moment to think about it during my intro. I am Dr. John Padfield. I'm a business professor who teaches graduate data analytics, and this is Business Reform, where I discuss issues at the intersection of business, technology, and society. The topic for today falls squarely in the middle of that intersection as we discuss how big data, while still in its infancy, was responsible for killing Lassie. I am old enough to remember seeing all of these shows on television as I was growing up, although none of them were still making new episodes. I was watching them as reruns. First, let's identify all of these shows for the benefit of anyone that's not familiar with them. The Beverly Hillbillies first aired in 1962, and it tells the story of the Clampett family, who lived in the Ozark Mountains of Missouri. Then one day they found oil on their property while shooting at some food. With their new wealth, they decide to move to Beverly Hills, California, where their rural lifestyle and values clash with their new neighbors and environment. Green Acres was essentially the Beverly Hillbillies in reverse. Green Acres tells the story of a wealthy New York attorney, Oliver Wendell Douglas, who attempts to fulfill his lifelong dream of becoming a farmer by buying and moving into a dilapidated farm in the fictional city of Hooterville. Petticoat Junction is a third interrelated show that made occasional references to both Beverly Hillbillies and Green Acres. Petticoat Junction focuses on the activity at the Shady Rest Hotel, which is run by a woman and her three daughters. The Andy Griffith Show focused on Sheriff Andy Taylor and his deputy, Barney Fife, who maintained order in the city of Mayberry, North Carolina. In 1968, Andy Griffith left the show to pursue other acting opportunities, but the show continued under a new name, Mayberry RFD. During its entire 249 episodes, The Andy Griffith Show never ranked lower than 7th place in the Nielsen ratings, and it was ranked number one in its final season. Hee Haw was a variety show set in the fictional rural setting of Cornfield County. It was hosted by country music artists Buck Owens and Roy Clark. And finally, Lassie was a series about a boy and his dog. It is the eighth longest-running scripted American primetime television series with a total run of 17 seasons. So what do all of these shows have in common? First, they were all set in, or began in, a rural environment such as Mayberry, North Carolina, Cornfield County, Hooterville, or the Ozark Mountains. Second, they were all broadcast on CBS, which at the time was nicknamed the Country Broadcasting System, or the Hillbilly Network, or, more politely, the Rural Network. In 1968, CBS was the number one rated network and had the top five rated TV shows on all of television. And the third thing these six shows had in common was they were all canceled at nearly the same time as part of the Rural Purge. What's that? You've never heard of the Rural Purge? Allow me to explain. Lassie had been on the air since 1954, making it one of the first regular TV series ever. Keep in mind, as of 1950, only about 9% of U.S. households even had a television set. The Andy Griffith Show had been on the air since 1960, and the Beverly Hillbillies since 1963. But all of these shows ended around 1971 because of the rural purge, when CBS suddenly decided to drop many of their highest-rated TV shows. And what prompted CBS to purge their rural programming? The birth of big data. Nielsen ratings began measuring radio audiences in the 1930s, and in 1950 they began measuring TV audiences. But at that time, they were only focused on total viewers. That is how we know how many people were watching these shows, and that The Andy Griffith Show was the number one most-watched TV show in 1968. But in the late 1960s, Nielsen started collecting demographic data on who was watching what shows, and what they discovered was that while rural programming on CBS was attracting the largest audiences, those audiences tended to be older and less affluent. When Nielsen published this data, advertisers started shifting their commercials to other networks who, while drawing smaller audiences, those audiences were younger and more affluent. 
I can't blame advertisers for shifting their ad buys to other shows that better aligned with their customer base, nor can I blame CBS for the decision to drop these popular shows because they were no longer financially viable as advertisers abandoned them. But at the same time, these were some of the most wholesome shows to ever be broadcast on television. I can't help but feel, while the birth of big data helped big business sell more products, it simultaneously started society down a path where people are seen more as consumers or customer segments rather than as individual human beings. I would love to hear what you think about this subject in the comment section. I will have a lot more to say about big data and advertising in future videos, so please subscribe to this channel if this is something of interest to you, and thank you for watching.